pop star Never Stop Stopping is the second film from comedy trio The Lonely Island. I've been a big fan of The Lonely Island since their video Jizz In My Pants went viral. I really liked Hot Rod so I was super excited for this new film, in fact it was probably one of my most anticipated movies this year. The trailers looked really funny but I was afraid it would follow the trend of a lot of comedies recently and use all their funniest jokes in the trailer but luckily they didn't. The movie is a mockumentary which parodies documentaries about musicians such as Justin Bieber's Never Say Never. The film is about Andy Sandberg, who is a pop musician called Connor For Real. Connor grew to success in a boy band known as The Style Boys but they broke up with one member stepping away from the mic and becoming Connor's producer and the other member becoming a farmer. The film starts with the release of Connor's second album Conquest on which he used different producers and slaved to make it as good as possible. The album tanks so with the help of his manager he has to try and keep him in the limelight, including doing things such as putting his album inside of household appliances which causes a wide blackout. The film chronicles the ups and downs of being a pop star. Not just that, but an incredibly stupid pop star with a huge ego who has everything provided for him. Along with this we get to hear some of the music that the Lonely Island created especially for the film. The music in this movie is great. There's the track I'm So Humble which is a classic Lonely Island song. There's the track Equal Rights which is a parody of Macklemore's Same Love in which Connor sings about equal rights but keeps reminding us that he is straight. And probably my favourite track in the movie, Finest Girl, the Bin Laden song, in which Connor sings about a girl who wants to be fucked as hard as the US military fucked Bin Laden. That song is a perfect example of a lot of the humour in this film, just incredibly ridiculous and silly. Unlike Hot Rod, this film really does feel like a Lonely Island movie. If you're a fan of their music, you will undoubtedly love this movie because in many ways it's like seeing their music turned into a movie. The humour is exactly what you'd expect. The crude, smart and self-aware humour and I'd honestly say like 99% of this film is incredibly funny. Like I don't think there were many jokes that didn't make me laugh out loud. The writing in this film is fantastic, making fun of many different stupid things done by pop stars in recent years. The character of Connor is in many ways similar to Justin Bieber and does follow a lot of the low points that he did. And of course the Household Appliance music release is very similar to U2's controversial release of their last album. And possibly one of my favourite reoccurring jokes in the movie, the parody of TMZ in which Will Arnett and Chelsea Peretti cameo. The humour in this film is weirdly very layered. It mixes different styles of comedy which really keeps the film feel fresh and helps the film out a lot. Like how films like Ted 2 are just nothing but over usage of swearing and sex references, this movie has that with a lot of other things. It has a large amount of satire on the music industry and celebrity lifestyle and also a weird amount of surrealty in some of the visual stylings at times. Some of the funniest moments in this film also is when they have deadpan humour. There are many incredibly funny scenes where they have interviews from real life pop stars. This film is in a lot of ways the 21st century equivalent of This Is Spinal Tap. It doesn't reinvent comedy or anything, it's in many ways your typical modern R rated comedy. But it's really funny, the film never has a moment where I was bored. I had a hell of a fun time from start to finish. This is also helped by the great performances in the movie. I love Andy Samberg and he was really great in this film. However if there's one problem I have with the film is that similar to a lot of modern comedies you can completely predict the ending literally about halfway into the film. In fact I kind of predicted it like 20 minutes into the film. I mean I'm not saying it's a bad ending or anything, it's the perfect way to end the film with the audience leaving feeling happy, but I think it should have been done less predictable. This is a film that is incredibly fast paced and choppy, full of visual humour and a lot of dialogue based meta humour. I really like this film, I couldn't stop laughing throughout. It's exactly what you'd expect from The Lonely Island and I certainly was not disappointed. I give Popstar Never Stop Stopping a 9 out of 10. You're an overrated piece of shit.